Hello, this video will show you how to easily build accurate capacity plans using vital capacity management. The first screen that we take you to is the capacity plan screen. Here you can build a new plan or as we're going to do use an existing plan, in this case annual growth for 2018. On the left hand side when you go into a plan you'll see the timeline with all the various growths for each month. And in the center, you have the results screen showing systems, risk projection, date of risk, and details. In the details, you'll see the various workloads that are running on the system and the date of risk of each of those. And then we can take you straight to the advice screen, which will give you advice on where the problems are in relation to the timeline and we consult on the status and in this case you can see it's an IO problem. We can then take you also to do a response time breakdown and show you that so you can see very clearly that the time is spent queuing on IO in this case and we can also take you to look at the C CPU in more detail so you can see which workloads are using the CPU and the same thing with IO and since this is an IO problem you can see very clearly that there is an IO problem as the timeline progresses. So looking at the other machine we can go to the advice on this machine and we can see that there is a different problem and the advice will show us that there is in fact a CPU problem and again we can sort it by status so you can see here that the CPU problem starts later than the problem on the other machine so what we're going to do now is add another event in this case a new customer a new customer will give you immediate growth so we're going to create that we're going to give it a name and we're going to go call it new customer and we're going to choose the machines which is going to be all systems and the workloads which is going to be all workloads and the growth rate is going to be a hundred percent and it could either end either this after this event or continue and we're going to start it in June or July 2018 and save. Now we're going to rerun the plan. You can see it there in the timeline. So we're going to rerun the plan and see what difference this makes to the risk projection. So we'll do that very quick and you'll see now that the problems start earlier on both machines. So the IO problem and the CPU problem both start in July and August respectively and again if we look at the details uh, you can see that the workloads and their risk projections have also changed so it's very clear um, and you'll see that the advice also gives you more details about the particular problem so what we're going to do now is on one of the machines we're going to cure the CPU problem. So that's on C L SO11 and we're going to change the CPU. In other words we're going to upgrade the CPU and we give it uh, an event the, the name of new hardware and which system we want to look at. First of all we're going to give it a, a, a the, period to apply which is August 2018 the system itself what CPU we're on an M3000 so we're actually going to type M5 to, to bring up all of the CPUs that begin with M5, M5000 and you'll see that there's a few there and we're going to take the most powerful one which is there at the bottom 
and you'll see that in the relative performance even though we've got a faster CPU it's not it's not uh, only 80 percent as fast as as the current one so we're also going to give it some new um, cores and some extra cores and we've given it 12 and now it's 2.4 times as fast and we're going to rerun the plan and what will happen as you will see is all the problem for that particular machine has gone so in the space of a few minutes we have put in a new plan we have uh, put in a, a customer that's going to arrive in july we have found that there are problems and we've cured that problems with an upgrade of hardware so thank you for joining this video